Alright people, welcome back to the card review. So today we are looking at an interesting and very powerful card. This card is called Wrongful Arrest. So I love the card art. It's actually kind of funny. It has like Sengen getting bullied and you know, I, I, I can say like Sengen, yeah. Sengen's okay for right now. I would say the only problem with Sengen coming up Ben is because Crush Card. Because last thing I want people to do is go ahead and just splash an engine just like, oh, tour guy Sengen and then Crush Card, you know, like a three card engine. So, uh, you know. Without seeing again, uh, being here, uh, I doubt it. But oh my god, he looks so sad in the car. Like he looks like he he looks like he's about to shit his pants if he wore pants. Cause God, you know, you see, uh, Pot of Greed, that that's a rifle arrest. Uh, Blink would do that. That's a rifle arrest. Graceful Cherry, that's a rifle arrest. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know what this wrongful arrest is. Cause there's a handful of cars on here. I'm just like, no, 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 your arrest is justified. You know, like I said, if it was just saying again, yeah, I can understand. But you know, you got some people on here that you know totally justified. So, this card is very powerful. If you haven't heard of it, then prepare your anus, because um, pretty much take one of the most powerful cards in the game right now, and then just turn it to uh, a, a sackier version of it, in my opinion. So, Wrong for Rest is a quick play spell card that reads, Until the end of your next turn, neither player can add cards from their deck to their hand except by drawing them. It's as simple as that. It's fucking good. It's literally a one-turn fucking mistake, you know? And a uh, ton of people, a ton of people, when it comes to this upcoming list and when it comes to the game in general, a ton of people are saying, yeah, mistake should be hit, you know? Uh, like I said, I, I kind of feel like mistake is kind of a balanced card. Uh, you know, it's a double third, it's a neg unless you chain on activation, and it's you can't search for both of you. Well, this card, on the other hand, yeah, it's true, but it turns off. Like, that's the powerful thing, you know? You can go ahead... Everybody searches in this game right now. Everybody searches, and uh, it's kind of like more of like an intimate card. Everybody searches. Therefore, when it comes to activating mistake, neither player can search. You know, so it's not like you will ever see mistake in like necros or teller knights because they search. You know, so it's kind of like more of like an anti-meta card. This card, on the other hand, can be splashed in those powerful decks that search because all they have to do is just get done with their searching first. Like, that's the powerful fucking thing about this card is that it may be just for, you know, one, uh, well, not really one turn, but each player's turn. But it's so fucking powerful because it's just one. Like, there's one and done. Sometimes it's one and done, you know? So, like I said, it is a quick play spell, which makes it fucking ridiculous that it's a quick play spell because... Not only can you just be like, all right, well, you you play Mistake, and you're like, well, damn, I played Mistake, but then I drew into, you know, you're playing the Teller Knights with Mistake, because you're fucking bad. But you're like, you play Mistake, because you're going against Necros, and you're like, ah, Mistake, you can't search. Ha, ha, ha. All right, draw. Oh, I drew Rota. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Wrong for the rest, on the other hand, you can be like, all right, I have wrong for the rest. All right, well, I'm going to play, play Rota. Um, some of my demand, go ahead and search. All right, well, I got all my searching on, oh, I'm done. All right. Uh, yeah. Wrong for the rest? Even better than that, because it's a freaking quick play spell, you could just pass it, set the card, pass to your opponent, and then as soon as they freaking activate something, they'll be like, oh, wrong for the rest? Nope, nope, no searchy for you. Oh, what, me? I know, it's, it's kind of like mistake, but for me? Oh, yeah. You know, I already searched. I'm good. You know, now at least they had the common decency to say until the end of your next turn, because it would just tell the end of the turn. Oh, no. This, yeah, this card is fucking good. That would be fucking busted. Like, just be like, oh, yeah, till the end of the turn, neither player can have cards in your hand. And it's a quick play spell, so you can just play it just on your opponent. Just on your opponent. Like, at least, uh,. It's till the end of your next turn, which means that if you play it on your opponent's turn, it's going to come back to you and then, you know, you can't search that turn. But it's still very powerful because then it's only one turn, you know. It's not like Mistake where, you know, it's pretty much stuck. And like, you know, when it comes to like Mistake, if I go, all right, activate Rota, you go, chain Mistake, and I go, chain MST. Of course, counter trap, I mean, of course, continuous trap cards, they have to remain up on the field to resolve the effect. This is a quick play spell. So I can go activate Rota, you go chain run for Run, run for less. I could change the MST till the fucking cows come home. I'm not, MST doesn't negate, so, you know, uh, I'm gonna be screwed. I'm gonna be screwed. This card is very powerful. Very, very powerful. And it's kind of interesting that they made a mistake and then they make this and it's kind of like, hmm, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of like, you know what I want to say? It's like, it's like, trap stun is to royal decree as wrongful arrest is to mistake. There we go. Bam, there's the analogy right there. Like, that's all I had to do. That's all I had to explain. I, I don't even have to tell you fucking mistakes effect. I'll just be like, Trap Stun is the Royal Decree. is wrong for rest is to mistake. You'll be like, okay, so it's mistake for one turn. Yeah. <laughs> you know? 
in a sense, in a sense, you know, you get the gist of it, and it's a very powerful card, you know. Like I said, and when it comes to a stack, I think it's personally, I think it's fine. Minecraft is the stupid one, though. Like, Minecraft already has presidents of being hit, and you get to see my hand, and uh, then you can continue searching and plussing. Well, you get to not only look at my hand, but then you may pick out that combo piece or multiple combo pieces in my hand. Like, this is, mistake is, the, I mean, Minecraft is the ridiculous one. Mistake, I'll know that him. Hey, you go ahead and play mistake. You don't get to look in my hand. You can't search. I can't search. And unless you change it on something that I activated, you're gonna it, it's a neg. This on the other hand, this is card is very powerful because you know, uh, unlike it's kind of like mistake except for one turn, and you know, I can just get all my searching out of the way, set it, pass it to you, then play this card, and then bam. So uh, with this, with multiple of this and multiple mistake, I mean, I can I, like I said. When it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, what are the top decks? What are the what makes the, the best deck the best deck? Consistency. You know, as long as the deck has the C word, and I don't mean that word, I mean consistency. Uh, generally, decks will be better than decks that aren't consistent. You know, if you need an example, look at the top decks. What are the top decks right now? Necros. All right, all right. And what is Necros? Consistent. Okay. All right. Now, look at a deck that uh, used to be one of the best decks. Used to be one of the top decks, but uh, now it got. Uh, it's not as consistent. Look at uh, Burning Abyss. They're not consistent. You know that that you know opening tour guide used to be like one of the best plays, but now you know they said they're not consistent anymore. They are not. They are not consistent compared to Necros. You know, please, please. I mean, you know, even with Scout at two and Sacrifice at one, you know, you still have you know triple summoners art. So Cleese are still fairly consistent. So you know that that's uh, that's good. Teller Knights they are consistent. You know. Uh, Shadows, they're not as consistent, but, uh, they have multiple engines that can help them be consistent, you know. Uh, the problem with, of course, with Shadows is that if they don't get to one of their fusions, then they're fucked, you know. Uh, you, you need to run them triple out Shadow fusions and triple Shadow fusions, because if you don't, then you're fucked. And, of course, what's their one? Because they're not as consistent, what do they do? They run Mistake, you know. The decks that aren't as consistent generally run more cards to combat the consistency of the top decks to bring them down so just like with mistake i can clearly see you know a deck going triple mistake triple run full arrest you know just to go ahead and be like no you're not searching you know you need to you need to slow down if i can't search and you can't search so um in a sense that's just very powerful but you know my crush on my hands is like oh you search let me go ahead and see your hand like no no get out of the hand you know i see you fucking wrong for rest fucking delinquent duo you're right there get out of people's hands like no 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 so uh i'm done i'm done talking about this card so tell me what you guys think about wrong for rest in the comment section below so i hope that you guys enjoyed this card view so thanks for watching thanks for all the support and i will see you guys on thursday with another card to look at all right people thanks for watching